The year was 1948. Truman defeats Dewey for the presidency. The first Polaroid camera goes on sale for $89.75. NASCAR, ABC Television, and the Hells Angels are born. On August 10th, the Ashland Theater celebrates its grand opening. Sitting Pretty is the first film to be shown in the State of the Art Theater. The 484-seat theater was built by D.H. Covington and his wife, Dora. Pioneers in the local movie scene, they spent 21 years operating the original theater at 301 South Railroad Avenue. It, it was a big part of the community when it first opened. You know, you, you, not everybody had a television set in 1948, so uh, going to the theater was the way to, to see newsreels, to find out about what else was going on in the world. Uh, as well as be entertained. With the country still in the grips of segregation, the Covingtons continue to operate the Railroad Avenue location to serve the black community. And the Covingtons came up with a clever way to show the same movie in both places. My father used to bring the reels from the black theater over to here and take the reels from here back to the black theater on his bicycle. Rick Grand remembers those days well. Long before he became the projectionist for the Ashland Theater in 1966, he spent a lot of his childhood here. In June and July, we caught a manage jar full of lightning bugs. And we came to the theater and we let them go in here. And I, I remember seeing Mr. Covington going there with a fly swatter, swatting those things. They never knew who did it. You know, but, but that's been so long ago. I guess statues of limitations have run out. Oh my gosh! I think they are original seats from... Uh... Esther McDermott and Anne Glave have been friends since elementary school. For them, the theater was the place for Ashland youth. It was, it was, a, it was a safe thing um, and a fun place to be. It was, just, it was Ashland. Yeah, and it was a social event. You went with your friends. It didn't always make any difference what the movie was. <laughs> the building was eventually sold in the 70s but maintenance and attendance declined to the point that the Ashland Theater briefly closed. In 1982, it was leased and began showing movies for a buck. He was packed almost every night, every night. That's when they used to have second run movies. But what happened to second run movies is when the DVDs and all the VHS tapes, movies came out on that, that killed the second run movies. The theater finally shut its doors in 1995. In the early 2000s, Ashland resident and entrepreneur A.D. Whitaker purchased the building. A.D. Whitaker put a lot of uh, energy and effort and, and money into the theater uh, for its initial renovations. Um, but they didn't have a good working model to make it profitable or successful. For the next 20 years, the iconic neon tower and lighted marquee would remain heartbreakingly dark. Alexis Thompson was hired as the town's new economic development coordinator in 2011. Uh, when I first came to town and saw the building, I thought it was an amazing diamond in the rough. And then there was one day when someone was able to get me inside and we got to climb up the marquee and see the neon lights on and I was awestruck. I thought we have got to bring this theater back. There's no other choice but to make this happen. After years of talking with the Whitakers about the future of the theater, in 2013, they dropped a bombshell. It seemed like an ordinary meeting that we were having with them, just sitting down and talking again about the potential of collaborating, the potential of uh, buying the theater, and then um, leaving the meeting after AD said, well, we'll just give it to you. And it didn't seem real. <laughs> the Whitaker's generosity made it possible for the nonprofit Ashland Theater Foundation to jump into high gear to get the theater back open. Well, obviously, the, the gift of the theater to the town by A.D. and Gene Whitaker was beyond our wildest dreams. And then the, uh, the Commonwealth of Virginia and the town of Ashland stepping up with their matching grants was really the catalyst to get this renovation started. And then the town followed suit. I mean, folks throughout the community, small gifts, large gifts, in kinds, volunteers, anything we've asked for. Over the past couple of years, folks have stepped up to, to get us where we are today. Major construction on the theater began in 2017 to include a larger stage, larger lobby, two concession areas, a green room, and office space. 
On December 26, 2018, the Ashland Theatre opened its doors once again to provide movies, music, performances, and special events under the leadership of President and CEO Douglas Love. Ironically, the first movie I ever saw here was Mary Poppins, which I thought was kind of cool since it reopened with Mary Poppins Returns. Have it open and thriving and successful again, it's, it's like I said, the most significant thing to happen to the downtown uh, since the rail came through.